the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Welcome back. Well, I understand uh, that cotton field we just saw there was out 44 in uh, here in Oasis County. So uh, looking good in spite of the dry conditions, only a hundredth of an inch of rain has fallen so much officially uh, in the month of July. So it's very dry, gusty winds today, 31 miles an hour, 33 in Kingsville. So the winds were blowing and uh, again, that kept the clouds away. We didn't have any rain either. As you can see here, mostly sunny skies, clear moonlit skies tonight with that full moon uh, last night. The overnight forecast does call for temperatures to be slowly dropping into the low 80s, but pretty breezy. So that's going to hold our temperatures up and above normal once again tonight. And we'll stop at about 80 to 81 by daybreak with uh, 88 mid morning southeasterly breeze already back on the increase. Tomorrow is going to be very similar to today. 81 degrees will be the low in Corpus Christi, but look at this mid 80s along the coast from Rockport to the Naval Air Station. And then we'll see mid 70s out at Freer with 76 in Alice and 78 for Robstown. Here in Corpus Christi, muggy and warm, already 81 at 7 in the morning, 93 with increasing wind at noon, and windy tomorrow afternoon, very hot, and 93 at 5 p.m. with mostly sunny skies. We'll top out at 95 tomorrow. Heat index will be pushing 109 to 110 with those winds coming in off the Gulf. 88 in Port Aransas, triple digit levels inland, about 97 for Kingsville. Satellite and radar shows low pressure up in North Texas and high pressure in the Gulf. The two are interacting. You can see the pressure gradient. That's the lines of constant pressure. The more lines there are, the more wind there is. And there's quite a few here. So it's going to be on the windy side again tomorrow. And also on Friday and Saturday, the winds start to come down. Our rainfall opportunity will go up by the end of, not the end of this week, but the middle of next week. Low pressure up to the north is waning, and so is post-tropical storm Barry, which is now in eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania, causing rain over there. But high pressure is going to move in behind this and dry everything out and heat it up in the northern plains and Rockies. There's the high now. We've got dry air over us. This high expands over time. They're actually going to be having heat advisories and triple-digit temperatures in some of the major metropolitan cities around Chicago and Detroit, Cleveland and Cincinnati and even Indianapolis, Indiana over the weekend. And that is very unusual for that part of the country. I, I lived in Northern Illinois for about two years back in the 1960s, believe it or not. And it was only about two weeks where it got to 90 or above for the high, and that was it. Spent most of the time below freezing in the wintertime. High pressure backing off to the north. There it is, northwesterly flow aloft. That brings the front into central Texas, and that's our next uh, rainfall potential, which we desperately need, except for the farmers trying to harvest. Here it is over the weekend, keeping it breezy. And then a few showers break out here Tuesday and Wednesday. Not a lot, but some. Tropics, well, we'll talk about this real quick. Uh, the tropics are all quiet. That system that was in the Caribbean ran into that wind shear, and it is gone. Everything else is looking quiet from here to Africa. NEC Co-op Energy, seven-day forecast. 81 tonight, 95 tomorrow. Still windy on Friday and Saturday and 96. Breezy on Sunday and 95. Then we'll see isolated showers Monday, and yes, scattered showers here with less wind Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So that's a look at weather. We'll be back with more news and sports after these messages.